Hey YouTubers, I just want to share with you my experience with my Lester Summit 2. It's a 650 watt unit. So, um, what I had happen was all three lights were flashing. All three of these lights and my AC present light was not on. And um, I had had my breaker trip and it was on a circuit with a few other things. So I reset it and it still would not work. The only way that I could get the charger to tree up any lights was if I had it plugged into the cart, so it was getting power off the cart. Um, long story short, I went through a warranty deal with Lester, um, and they did they did honor it. It uh, it probably took about three weeks or so to get a new charger out to me from Lester. So this unit, I'll turn my camera around. So this unit is a IP66 rated. It's supposed to be fairly waterproof. Um, as you can see, this is the bottom plate screen that goes in underneath here. Um, this board will not come out. It's the DC terminals are soldered in um, through the back. I had a decent amount of corrosion here. The bottom plate is um, sealed up and so I had water getting in just as you see there. The issue is and I'll show you how I put it on my golf cart and how it ended up happening. The issue is this sticker. This sticker is the only thing that is keeping water out of this unit. Um, after some crazy sideways rains that we had where I live, I noticed um, moisture buildup behind the LEDs in here. And then um, I've done my best to keep it out of the rain. I set it on the cart, but I just want to show you the only thing between this unit getting water in it and not is the sticker that I just took off. You've got a massive hole right here, plus the... Um, the LED holes, the four LED holes that just go straight down to the, to the bottom, um, which was clearly how I was getting all of this water in. And so now we'll go look at uh, my cart and how I leave it set up. And so this is exactly how I leave it set up on my golf cart. I've kind of started to set it up in the seat to get it a little, little further up maybe. So sideways rain. And uh, these little rubber feet that are on the bottom, they break off pretty easily moving it around. They just, they just shear off. And that also keeps you some clearance from uh, not getting obviously water against this plate to potentially get inside of the unit but um, my unit lasted probably about four months before water um, had got behind here and this unit actually this unit i had had a little bit of moisture behind an led after some uh, crazy sideways rain which is when i stopped leaving it setting you know in the middle of the golf cart on the floor and putting it up to the seat maybe it would do better mounted in under the cart in an area that cannot get rain or or water splashed up on it from puddles but um, I don't really agree with their IP66 rating um, because the only thing between you and a burnout board is I'm a sticker all right hope that hope that you guys found this uh, helpful and um, have a good day